There is a buzz in the air in the sold-out arena here in downtown Minneapolis. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're all set to bring you NBA action. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles. Ingram and Nance are your small and power forwards. Ball runs point with Contavious Caldwell Pope to his side. They're the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the five patrol on the paint. That's tipped. Up the floor. Here's Ball. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, it's a must to avoid fouling Ball. I mean, he's excellent at taking it to the defense and drawing the contact. And, you know, so often we hear about a player coming out uh, uh, as an elite athlete, but Lonzo Ball is an elite basketball brain. I mean, this guy sees and out of rhythm offensively, but he continues to work at it. Yeah, you know what? I think eventually he will find his rhythm because he is off right now, but all it takes is one hoop, and you're back in rhythm. Jones, no luck. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Timberwolves trailed by four. Wiggins. And it's sent back by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. Second shot opportunity. But they recover it. Butler kicks to Towns. Tries yet again. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. Clarkson with the ball. And Crawford picks him up defensively. Randall with the bucket. Clark, when you were playing, what was your game day routine like? Well, it was simple. I didn't complicate things, Kevin. I tried to get a good meal. It was just beginning to miss. Towns again. Spurvick. Towns, no luck. Los Angeles leading by four. Bogut drives in. And the rejection by Towns. Caldwell Poe passes to Bogut. And finished off by Bogut. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Poe. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. And looking at Towns and what he can do on the floor already at his age is impressive. This is a guy who's going to be a 20 and 10 player perhaps for the rest of his career. And as young as he is, I tell you, the sky is the limit. Fires from deep. Traps in the tray. Towns has got 11 points. Relaxed shot mechanics. That's what you like to see. Comfortable. No stress or strain. It's a big reason why Big Cat drives from behind the arc. And when you look at the second year for Towns, it's comparable to other great big men in the history of the NBA. And, and Greg, I'm talking about players in the top 50 of all time. Yeah, I mean, just on the sophomore season stats, he looks like he projects to be one of the all-time greats. Comparable numbers to some of the best who have ever played it. Think of these names. Hakeem, Duncan, Ewing, and the Admiral. Maybe we'll be seeing Carl Anthony Towns as well. Back to Gibson. Towns down low. On the strike. And Gibson kicks to Towns. One fifty-three left to play here in the second quarter. Let's the three fly. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Just churning that butter up, man, all night. Towns making a fool out of anybody trying to get in his way. Go to work, big fella. Here's Clarkson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up there. Nance has got three rebounds so far in the game. Up again. Boy, Ball has a nice feel for when his guys are open. He's solid, really solid when it comes to getting his teammates clean looks. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. It's stolen by Nance. 
Here's Ingram. And that one is good. Ingram's got eight points. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. Yeah, that is a nice pass. I will give you that. Yeah, who's on the money? That's no doubt. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Butler teams with Wiggins as the deadly wing duo. Gorgie Dang is out there with Taj Gibson. And it's Teague in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Butler. And the layup's good off the glass. Butler's got the first bucket of the third here for Minnesota. And Lakers head coach Luke Walton got his start as an NBA coach in Golden State as a top assistant. He said, looking back, he would have paid to coach under Steve Kerr with everything he's learned. Wow, that's a high compliment from Walton. Kerr and Walton have very similar personalities, too. I mean, both are pretty even-keeled, low-key kind of guys. And when Kerr's back surgery sidelined him, Walton led the Warriors to the best start in NBA history. It's pretty amazing. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, guys, analytics has taken over the NBA, but Minnesota coach and president of basketball operations, Tom Thibodeau, says it doesn't tell you everything. He said analytics can measure a lot of things, but it's very difficult to measure drive. The magic is in the work. Kevin? And Tom Thibodeau makes a good point, D.A. Analytics is certainly helpful, but it doesn't capture everything. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. Oh, the jam by Ingram. Major props given up to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in this path when he goes like that. Nice pass that time. What excellent vision by Jeff Teague out there. Here's Paul. No good. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Butler on the way. Clark, we know how big a Ohio State fan, I, I'm, I'm sorry, the Ohio State University fan that you are. Who is on your list for best players in the NBA uh, coming out of the Big Ten? Partner, you know me well because I was going to go right at you to correct you on that. It is the Ohio State University, as you indicated. Well, right now, probably you have to go with Mike Conley. He's been superb throughout his career, particularly the last four or five years in terms of outstanding Big Ten players. Draymond Green, how can you not mention him? Double time NBA champion. And then um, Oladipo out of IU, another guy that might be um, worthy of consideration there. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. The kick out to T. Five to shoot. Another miss by Towns. Los Angeles leading by four. It's actually been ugly to see. Ball, the pass to Randall. He kicks it to Bogut. And the layup falls. Bogut's got the lead up to six now for the Lakers. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here we go. Fast break. Towns has got it. Pass to Bialica. This one for three. Towns, no luck. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Hamid's checked in. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away 
from this game is how well they perform at the line. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. And Gibson kicks the tee. Crawford dishes to Gibson. Will it go? Goes back up. A stupendous finish in traffic. Great effort. Terrific instinct. It's just solid all-around play, Kevin. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising by six. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. They've got Ingram all out there with Clarkson. And it's Bogut. And it's Kuzma in it the four shot. And Wiggins throws it down hard. Spectacular move. Wiggins' elevation, body control, strength. He leap across the board. Teague, the pass to Jones. Gibson setting the pick for Jones. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Lakers lead by seven to the inside. Crawford with the steal. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Here's Wiggins. Count it good. Wiggins has got four this quarter. Boy, Wiggins does it in so many different ways, Kevin. And that scoring versatility of his special. This time he got it done in the painted area. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to hangs check in for Minnesota. Butler comes in for Tyus Jones. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He said, guys, we have got to get back in transition. Run on the court and score in our early offense, and that will help our transition defense. Let's see if they can pick up the tempo, Kevin. Thank you, David. Post game, big score, Wiggins embracing the challenge. Ball dishes to Nance. And the Nance slams it in. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating the whole game at, at a high level. Yeah, making his teammates better through his passing, Greg. You know about that because you did it. Great job sharing the ball. Well, I appreciate it, partner. Always important to have somebody keep rhythm in the game. Lopez a screen. And here is Ball. Nans a screen. From deep. Ball no good. Timberwolves trail by five. And Wiggins throws it down hard. Terrific kick by Wiggins. Then kicks it ahead. Turning defense into offense. And Gibson over to help. Here's Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. And a pretty free look from three point range. The D forgot about him on that position. Clock at five. Minnesota needs to get off the shot here. Wow, that is cold blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing them deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. Ingram. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Butler with the ball. Higgins outside. Right at the free throw line. And the shot falls short this time. Gibson with the steal. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by two. Five seconds left. Send it shot in tight and take my chances in overtime. Here 
Here's Caldwell Pope. It's good! A huge shot to tie it up. And in the moment of truth, KCP... Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one... Ready, gentlemen? Ready? So the Timberwolves win the tip. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Wiggins at small forward with Gibson at the four. Teague runs the point with Butler at his side. They're the backcourt. And it's Aldrich in the center locking down the middle. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. Gorgi Dangs check in for Minnesota. The Lakers also with a sub. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Julius Randle. Wiggins outside. Back to Teague. Wiggins outside. There's the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Ingram. Lays it up and banks it in. Ingram's got the first points here in the overtime period for Los Angeles. And after playing one year at Duke, Ingram is used to providing big baskets for his club, just dominating with ease in these moments. And you can see the leadership there that Butler possesses. Just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. And they'll keep possession. Ingram wide open. Nice yet again. And it's Lopez laying it in. And the Lakers lead by one. Boy, those are the kinds of plays that Lopez is known for. Huge basket there. This is the Butler. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Ball, the pass to Lopez. A well pulled with a wide open look. No good from outside. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 3 from long range so far in this overtime period. Wait, well executed. And then you love the strong finish. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed kill showing no mercy in transition there, part. As big a basket as that was, the free throw probably even bigger. Now you've got a two-possession lead all of a sudden. Lakers have gone a shade under 50% for the floor here in Overton. And they've hit three of seven. Here's Paul. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's a six-point Laker lead. Boy, I tell you what, Ball doing a nice job using his size down in the post, rising up above his defender to get that one to go down. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And the first of two, no good. Hit break. Los Angeles making a switch here. Nance is checked in. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. His length and his shooting stroke and work ethic. This is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Ball kicks to Nance. And it's Ball in the corner. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Butler. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They just seem to have lost their energy. Slane and Lane all comers. Biggins with the confidence to put the team on his back. 
when it matters most. And so Los Angeles takes the win, and they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for them in overtime. Yeah, they probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime.